Hey guys, it's Sam. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. For today's video, as you guys can see by the title down there, I am way too bright. For today's video, as you guys can see by the title down there, we are doing a first impression on the NYX Born to Glow Foundation. I have oily skin and I wanted to give this a go because I run from any type of like glowy foundation and I wanted to give this a try. I decided to try it out today because I have a few errands to run and I'm gonna be like going in and out of my car and like being outside so I wanted to give this a try and see how well it lasts on oily skin. Before we get started please don't forget to subscribe in the little button down there and if you want to know how this foundation lasts on oily skin then just keep on watching. So I picked this up at Walmart and it was around $12. I'm seeing that on the NYX website it was or it's $10. For this foundation they have a total of 45 shades and they look quite um, diverse. I really like the, the shade range that they have. So it says, uh, you were born to glow baby. Now it's time to let it show with the NYX professional makeup born to glow. Naturally radiant foundation. This smooth liquid foundation is so gl glorious. glorious. We can't even. It's buildable medium coverage glow foundation and we're so proud to offer it in an exclusive range of 45 flattering shades. These liquid foundations will amp up your skin's natural glow and blend seamlessly with our other born to glow with our other born to glow products. I believe they also have a concealer that goes with that range. Uh, you're going to love this smooth, even toned glow you'll get from Born to Glow. Naturally gr uh, radiant foundation. It is vegan. On the actual NYX uh, website, they have around 702 reviews. 4.3 out of 5 stars, which is not bad. We're going to go ahead and give this a try. I do have oily skin and I want to try out because I, tr I tend to just stay away from these types of foundations. I don't go even near them. Um, I want to say I bought this one and another one because I do want to try out different like glowy foundations on oily skin and see how well they last throughout the day. So we're going to start off with this one and I'm going to zoom you guys in as always. And I did change my background. I got mine in the shade Nude. I again used the um, foundation. I believe it's called the website where you can track down um, what shade you are in many different types of foundations i love that website where i'm not sure it's a little thicker than my other foundations and it's not very liquidy which i thought it was gonna be i will be using my elf sponge i just forgot to put a little bit of my primer i'm only going to be using my air poreless putty primer that's like the only primer i've been using these days i'm just gonna go ahead and dot this on my face The website does say that it is medium coverage, but I would definitely say this is like high medium coverage. It covered my redness really well. Okay, so let me zoom you guys in a little bit more, kind of like so you guys can see the difference. So. I already finished putting it on this side of my face and as you guys can see it has a beautiful glow um i do have oily skin so i will have to set this but i do want to see how well it lasts throughout the day um i don't have high expectations just because it is a glowy foundation um but it has a beautiful glow it is really really tacky obviously if you have dry skin this type of foundation is like your best friend but yeah, you guys can definitely see a difference. I did notice that a little bit goes a really long way. Just because I do see that it looks a little bit cakey already on my nose. I really wish I had like dry skin just because I love how this foundation looks right now. So beautiful. This is how the foundation looks. I really, really like how it looks. It's just, it looks so beautiful. I really wish I could, I like, I didn't need to set this because the finish looks flawless. Like I said, a little bit goes a long way. Although it says it is medium coverage, I do believe that it is like 
like high medium coverage just because I did notice that again a little bit goes a long way and as you guys can see it covered all of my redness I just need to take out the foundation because I hate the feel of foundation on my lips so as you guys can see it looks really pretty the glow is everything currently it is 12 p.m. I'm, I need to go and set this finish the rest of my face and I'll be right back and we'll see how everything blended on top of this foundation okay so it is currently 12 34 and I just finished my whole face it did take a little bit longer I was just really taking my time and as you guys can see everything went on very smoothly I did have a little bit of trouble um, kind of like with my um, contour uh, which I did like a liquid contour not liquid but like cream contour so I had a little bit of trouble because the foundation itself was moving a little bit um, and I was expecting that just because it is a very glowy foundation so it doesn't like stick to your skin and it doesn't set it was just very tacky when I was applying it um, but that was about it I was able to set my face um, everything feels very matte very set I'm gonna zoom you guys in just so you guys can see a little bit closer look and this is how my skin looks right now I really really like the coverage on this like I said a little bit goes a long way and I just really like how my skin looks like I said it is 12 35 right now I need to go and run some errands I am starving I haven't eaten breakfast and I'll check in with you guys in a little bit um it is really hot outside, so we're gonna see how, we're gonna really test this out. Please excuse the lighting. I didn't want to set up like both of my lights, uh, but I did want to show you kind of like the update on how this foundation looks on my skin. Um, I have been wearing it for about 10 and a half um, hours, and I really wanted to take off this makeup for the night. Um, so I did eat, so right here, I mean, my chin doesn't look that bad. I can't actually see if the foundation, it, like it doesn't look cakey at all. I actually really like how my forehead looks a little bit shiny, but I'm okay with that. Like it doesn't look like really, really greasy. You guys can see kind of like the shiny, shininess um, right on my forehead, but I don't really mind it because it doesn't look like greasy. And my nose is the one that I think the foundation kind of like disappeared. Um... But overall, you can still see a little bit of my contour and my blush. I don't think you can see my highlight, just a little bit right here, but you can barely see that, which I'm okay with that. It's been 10 and a half hours. I tried to wear my makeup not that long. I tried to wear it for about 8 hours. Um, but yeah, overall, I really, really like how the foundation wore off. Um, although it is a glowy foundation and me having like oily skin, I actually really like how it looks at the end of the day. So yeah, that's the update on the foundation. So that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the little button down there. It really helps me out. If there are any other foundations that you would like me to try, please leave them down in the comment section. And if you have tried this foundation, please let me know how, I, how well you liked it. And until then, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.